हेलो क्लासिक स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम मोनिका बजाज योर साइंस टीचर एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन एयर अराउंड अस एयर ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स नीड एयर टू ब्रीथ वी कैन नॉट लिव विदाउट एयर वी कैन नॉट सी एयर बट वी कैन फील इट वी कैन फील एयर ओनली वेन इट इज मूविंग वेन इट ब्लो स्लोली इट इज कॉल्ड ब्रीज Fast blowing air is called wind. Very fast blowing air is called storm. Clothes move when we put them to dry on a string due to the air around. Air is also present in things which seems to be empty. For example, empty glass, empty bottle, empty jug, etc. Air is an invisible gaseous substance surrounding the earth. It is mainly a mixture of oxygen and nitrogen. Other gases are also present in air but in small amounts. Now let's see an activity. Aim of the activity to verify the presence of air. Material required: a paper fan, firki. Procedure of the activity: take a paper fan and run with it in your hand. run in different directions with different speeds observation the paper fan starts rotating it rotates fast when you run fast and it rotates slow when you run slow conclusion of the activity the rotation of the firki confirms the presence of air around us now let's see an another activity aim of the activity to show the presence of air in an empty bottle or glass material required an empty plastic or glass bottle and a tub of water procedure take an empty bottle open its cap now immerse the bottle in water with the open end inside the water thus water rush inside the bottle now till the bottle what do you see does water rush inside the bottle observation of the activity you will see bubbles at the mouth of the bottle This is because there was air inside the bottle which comes out on tilting the bottle as it finds air opening. Before tilting water does not enter the bottle as all the space inside the bottle is taken up by air. But as you tilt the bottle air rushes out from the opening and water rushes in to fill the empty space. Conclusion of the activity. Air occupies space. Now the atmosphere the earth surface is surrounded by a thick blanket of air called atmosphere many planets in the solar system have an atmosphere but the composition varies the presence of the oxygen in the earth's atmosphere make it suitable for life it extend up to 1000 km above the surface of the earth the atmosphere is dense at the surface of the earth and becomes thinner as we move up this is the reason why mountaineer who climb high mountains find it difficult to breathe on mountains therefore they carry tanks of pure oxygen with them 99% of air is found up to a height of 30 meter above the surface of the earth composition of air till the 18th century it was thought that air is a pure substance but in 1774 an english scientist joseph prisley showed that some bacteria found in soil and in roots of some plants like peas convert nitrogen into a form that can be used by plants human beings and animals also obtain nitrogen in the form of proteins from their food when plants or animals die this nitrogen is released back to the atmosphere in this way nitrogen circulates on earth this is known as nitrogen cycle air is a mixture of different gases the main constituents of air are nitrogen 78% oxygen 21% carbon dioxide 0.03% noble gases argon neon 0.94% water vapor variable smoke and dust particles variable let us study these constituents of air in detail first one is nitrogen 
नाइट्रोजन इज द मेजर कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ऑफ एयर एयर कंटेन्स अबाउट सेवेंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन इज लेस रिएक्टिव देन ऑक्सीजन एंड डज नॉट सपोर्ट कंबर्जन इट रिएक्ट विद एटमोस्फेरिक ऑक्सीजन ड्यूरिंग लाइटनिंग टू फॉर्म ऑक्साइड ऑफ नाइट्रोजन दीज ऑक्साइड डिजॉल्व इन रेन वॉटर टू फॉर्म नाइट्रेट एंड कम डाउन टू अर्थ दीज आर एब्सॉर्ब बाय द प्लांट्स फॉर देयर ग्रोथ सेकेंड वन इज ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन इज द सेकेंड मेजर कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एयर एयर कंटेन्स अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन फॉर्म्स अबाउट नाइंटी परसेंट बाय द वेट ऑफ वॉटर एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट बाय वेट ऑफ अर्थ क्रस्ट इट इज नीडेड फॉर बर्निंग लेट सी यूजेस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन लिविंग थिंग्स नीड ऑक्सीजन फॉर रेस्पिरेशन रेस्पिरेशन इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच एनर्जी इज रिलीज फ्रॉम द फूड वी नीड दिस एनर्जी फॉर ऑल मेटाबॉलिक एक्टिविटीज सॉइल ऑल्सो होल्ड सम एयर इन द स्पेस इन बिटवीन इट्स पार्टिकल्स ड्राई सॉइल हैज एयर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द लिविंग बींग्स इन द सॉइल and also for the roots of the plants hence oxygen is essential for survival of living being atmospheric oxygen o2 is used for conversion to produce energy in automobiles aeroplanes ships industrial processes etc beside respiration medical oxygen is supplied in cylinders to help people who face breathing problems due to inaccurate amount of oxygen For example patients in hospitals mountaineers at high latitudes divers under water astronauts in space etc oxygen helps in burning it is used in many processing industries oxygen is used as a fuel in rocket let's see an activity aim of the activity to show the presence of oxygen in air material required big bowl water a candle a match box and a glass procedure take a candle and place it in a big bowl now fill the bowl with some water light the candle and cover it with an inverted glass observation the candle keeps burning for some time after some time the candle blows out the water level of the bowl also decreases after the candle goes out conclusion of the activity oxygen helps in burning when the oxygen inside the glass is used up the candle is put out also the space occupied by oxygen inside the inverted glass become empty and water rises up to occupy this space the major part of the air left is nitrogen which does not support burning let's see an extra mile the earth's atmosphere also has a portion that contains high level or ozone gas o3 this is known as ozone layer this layer protect us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun oxygen cycle we use oxygen for respiration burning fuels and many other activities yet the amount of oxygen in air remains constant how does this happens this happen due to photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process in which plants use water from the soil energy from the sun and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to prepare their food during this process plants release oxygen see this equation 6h2o plus 6co2 in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives you c6h12o6 plus 6o2 during the day oxygen is released by plants plants also consume oxygen during respiration and release carbon dioxide but the level of oxygen released is much more than the oxygen consumed during respiration hence there is net release of oxygen the cycle by which oxygen is utilized by plants and animals during respiration and generated by plants during photosynthesis such that the level of oxygen in air remains same is called oxygen cycle this is a picture which show you the oxygen cycle next one is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide form about 0.03% of the composition of air 
yet it plays a vital role in the living world through the process of photosynthesis. It is produced or released in atmosphere by various sources such as respiration, burning of fuels, etc. Uses of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is used as a fire extinguisher as it does not support combustion and is heavier than air. It displays oxygen and also cools the fire. It is used in manufacturing of urea. It is used in the process of photosynthesis. It is used to prepare fizzy drinks like thumbs up, coke, etc. Now let's see an activity. Aim of the activity. To show that carbon dioxide gas extinguishes fire. Material required. A test tube, vinegar, baking powder and a matchbox. Procedure of the activity. Take some vinegar in a test tube and add some baking powder to it. Note your observations. Ask an elder to light a matchstick and bring it near the mouth of the test tube. Note your observation. Observations. When baking powder is mixed with vinegar, carbon dioxide gas is produced, which extinguishes the burning matchstick. Conclusion of the activity. Carbon dioxide gas extinguishes fire. Now let's see an another activity. Aim of the activity. To show the particles floating in air, this activity has to be done in a dark room. Material required for the activity. A torch and some talcum powder or wheat flour. Procedure of the activity. Take a handful of talcum powder or wheat flour and throw it gently into the air. Shine the light of torch on the falling talcum powder. What do you see? Observation. The talcum powder floats in the air, separating into tiny pieces. Conclusion of the activity. These tiny pieces of talcum powder are just like the particles of dust. Therefore, it shows that dust particles keep floating in the air. Now, water vapor. Air contains water vapor. However, its proportion varies from place to place. It is added to the atmosphere by the evaporation of water from the lakes, rivers, oceans, etc. The amount of water vapor present in the air is known as humidity. Evaporation is slow when humidity is low. Hence, there is no sweating in winters. It also helps in the formation of clouds, which later come down as rain. Let's see one more activity. Aim of the activity to prove that air contains water vapor. Material required for the activity. A glass, ice cubes, water. Procedure of the activity. Place ice cold water and a few ice cubes in a glass and place it on a table. After some time, you will find water droplets on the outer surface of the glass. Observation of the activity. This is due to the condensation of water vapor present in the air. Conclusion of the activity. This experiment shows that air also contains water vapor. Now let's see an another activity. Aim of the activity to prove that air contains dust particles. Material required. A clean and dry water glass, oil, white cotton cloth. Procedure. Take a clean dry watch glass or a china dish, apply a little oil on its inner surface and place it at an open place. After a few hours, wipe its inner surface with a white cotton cloth. Observation Observe the piece of cloth. Conclusion Dust particles on the clothes confirm the presence of dust particles in the air. Let's see an extra mile. We see many insects and worms in the rainy season because the air water fills up the air spaces in the soil, forcing the animals to come out to breathe. Next topic is air pollution. The contamination of air with undesirable substances such as harmful gases, chemical dust particles, etc. which may be harmful for the living beings is called 
air pollution. The harmful substances responsible for pollution of air are called air pollutants. Causes of air pollution Burning of fossil fuels, smoke from the automobiles and industries. Burning of wood, cow dung etc. Forest fires, decay processes of vegetation. Volcanic eruptions also release harmful gases in air. Effect of air pollution Some major effects of air pollution are First, acid rain contains hydrogen ions which can damage trees and crops, harm marine animals and induce corrosion in metals. Next is air pollution causes irritation in the throat, nose, lungs and eyes. It causes various lung diseases in human beings and also result in breathing problems such as emphysema and asthma. Next is the smoke release from factories and vehicles has a lot of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide trap the heat from the sun, thus increase the temperature. This causes global warming, making the earth's surface warmer day by day. Next is ozone exists in earth's stratosphere and absorb harmful ultraviolet UV rays. If the ozone layers goes thin, it will emit harmful rays back on the earth and cause skin and eye related problems. UV rays also have the capability to affect crops. Next is eutrophication is a condition where a high amount of nitrogen present in some pollutants get developed on the surface of sea and turns itself into algae and adversely affect fish, plants and animal species. Prevention of air pollution some ways to reduce air pollutions are planting more and more trees, regular checking of vehicles for emission of harmful gases, limited driving by carpooling using public transport, biking and walking. Dust and smoke. Dust particles are always present in air. The amount of dust particle in the air varies from place to place and from time to time. Air also contains smoke. This is given out by vehicles and factories. Dust and smoke in the air are harmful for our respiratory system. Fine here and mucus is our nostrils act as filters and prevent the entry of dust particles in our respiratory system. Air in water and soil. Water contains air dissolved in it. The oxygen present in the water helps the aquatic plants and animals to survive. Fish breathe in oxygen dissolve in water through gills. Plants which float in water have stomata on the upper surface of their leaves through which they take in air. Plants which are submerged in water like tape grass do not have stomata. They take in oxygen dissolve in water through their body surface. Air is also trapped inside the particle of soil. Animals that live in soil like earthworms and plant roots get oxygen for breathing from the air present between the soil particles. Burrows and hole in the soil make spaces available for air to move in and out of the soil. Let's see an activity. Aim of the activity to show the soil contains air. Materials required for the activity Glass jar A sample of soil Procedure Take a small quantity of water in a glass jar or beaker Add a handful of soil into it and observe for any air bubbles forming in the water Observation Formation of the small bubbles of air in water shows that soil contains some air in between the soil particles. Conclusion of the activity. Soil contains air trapped in between its particles. Balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in nature. In nature, the amount of gases mostly remain unchanged and balanced. How? Animal inhale oxygen from the air and exhale carbon dioxide which goes into the air. Plants also use oxygen for respiration. 
Green plants use carbon dioxide from the air for making food by the process of photosynthesis during day. They give out oxygen in return which goes into the air. The process of respiration take place during day as well as night. But the oxygen released during photosynthesis is more than the oxygen used in respiration. Therefore, there is a net release of oxygen in the atmosphere. The burning fuel such as petrol, wood and coal use oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide which mixes with the air. So, respiration by living organism and burning of fuel by human consume oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Plants use carbon dioxide present in air during photosynthesis and release oxygen in the atmosphere. In this way, plants and animals help in maintaining the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in nature. This shows the interdependence of plants and animals in nature. Do not throw away items that are of no use to you. In fact, reuse them for some other purpose. Switch off fans and lights when not in use because a large amount of fossil fuels are burned to produce electricity. Resort to alternate energy sources like solar power and wind power whenever possible. Uses of air Air is not only required for respiration and photosynthesis but is also used in a number of ways for various applications. Some of them are listed next page. First one is air helps in dispersion of seeds and thereby in the multiplication and survival of plants. Wind helps the windmills to rotate which can be used to generate electricity and run flour mills. Next is air plays an important role in the water cycle. Water evaporates from water bodies in the form of water vapor in air and is restored by the form of rain. Air plays an important role in the pollination of flowers. Here, wind is a dispersal agent. Compressed air is used for inflating vehicle tires. Oxygen, a constituent of air, is essential for burning of fuels. Nitrogen, a constituent of air, is an important component of fertilizers. Air is essential for movement of sailboats. Packets of the chips are flushed with nitrogen to prevent their spoilage. Let's quick revise with Reader's Digest. Air is a mixture of many gases. We cannot see air but we can feel it. The various constituent of air are nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%, Carbon dioxide 0.03%, noble gases 0.94%, water vapor and dust. Oxygen is needed for respiration and combustion. Carbon dioxide is used in photosynthesis. Water is present in air in the form of water vapor. Air is found in soil and in water also. Air pollution is the addition of undesirable constituents in air which make it harmful for living beings. Ok class, we have done our chapter. Now it's time to take your leave. Bye, thank you, take care.